Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, in the last course, I walked you through the introductory section to uh, lead pages, the various components within it. And now we're going to start building the landing page section by section. This is the moment a lot of you have been waiting for. Uh, we're going to get in and get our hands dirty. So for this one, I'm going to kill my video so we have a little bit more real estate to work with on the screen. Um, but you should be able to see both of my screens on the left hand side is the prototype that I created in Sketch. On the right hand side is the blank canvas for us to start building. This is really why I love to prototype before I get started because I have essentially a map to work against uh, to build. So I'm gonna kill my screen and we're gonna get started here. Uh, so the first section we're gonna focus on is just this section right here. Uh, so when we'll go piece by piece. So I'll hop into layout and I'll change the name of this section uh, to header section, which is referencing the whole header here. And then I know I need uh, to structure it with two different columns, this or two different rows. This will be a row and this will be a row. So I already have row one. I'm going to duplicate it and add a second row. And uh, I'm going to name this one uh, d -d 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 header and I'll name this one, oops, sorry, wrong one. This one header and this one. Uh, navigation within the navigation I'm gonna to need to split this up into three columns the first section will be my logo right here the second one here will be a spacer and the third one here will be a button so the logo, the space in between, and the button. And to get that started, I will go into widgets, I will select image, and I'll drop it in here. And I've already uploaded my images, but what you would do is you would click here, and you would click upload, and you'd grab an image from your computer. I already have them uploaded to save time in the course, so I have my logo right here. And I'll insert my logo there. The next thing I'm searching for is a spacer. Ooh, gotta click out looking for the spacer and I'm gonna put that in between and then the last thing I'm looking for is a button which is going to be here and right now the buttons inactive because we're not linking it to anything but eventually once we have all the sections complete uh, that will be linked up so we already have uh, what looks like roughly the navigation here let's move on to the next section but before we do that um, we should try to uh, nail down this background color here so we can like see the text we're gonna have white text so when I go back to layout and I'm in the header section I click in I click colors um, and I'll just get what's close right now to it and eventually I'll match it up exactly um, we'll hop into like Photoshop and get the exact RGB colors um, but for now we'll just scroll around see something close that looks pretty close. Let me see if I can remember the code exactly. No. All right, so we'll stick with uh, with a color like this. That's pretty close to what it is, and eventually we'll move it to the exact color. Hit enter, and now we have the uh, the colors there. So we'll go back to the widget section, and I'm going to want a video. Oh, didn't add my column, sorry. Go back to layouts. So we already have the navigation set up. The next section we're gonna need is the header section and we're gonna need two columns. The first column will be the text and the second column here is going to be our video embed, which you see on the right hand side here. So we'll go ahead and we'll drop in some text there and then we'll go ahead and drop in uh, a video on this side here. Then you'll notice uh, I also have text below and then I have a uh, button below that. So in my other row. 
right below it in the same row. So then you come into the text and you'll change it to say what you want it to say, which is design beautiful high converting landing pages in hours, not weeks. Um, and then from there, we want to turn this into the appropriate color, which is white. Uh, FFF, FFF, six Fs is always the color for white. It's just a fun little fact. And then I want to change the alignment to left. I want to shrink down the size a little bit. I don't want it to be bold. And I want my spacing to be a little bit larger. All right, that looks pretty good there. And then here I want to add uh, bullet points. So first I want it to be white and then I want bullets with the check mark, I believe. I think I like the way the check looks. Um, I think that looks pretty cool. So then within here, make sure that all of this is right. I want the list icon to be white. So this is the text and this is the list icon on the left hand side. And now I can start copying the text from the right. No coding skills required. Dot, 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 dot. As in zero exclamation point. Uh, triple your conversion rates and learn the psychology behind effective landing page design. Highlight all that, make sure it's all white. Uh, see how I like the spacing. I'd like it a little bit larger. And that font size is good. So then now I just have to adjust the video. Watch first two videos for free, exclamation point. Change the uh, text here to not, I want this to be Montserrat, I think. I don't, I don't really love this font and I don't want it to be bold. And I'll do the same up here. I'll change this to Montserrat font. Do, 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 and I don't want that being bold either. Um, and then the video, we have to drop in uh, the video. I haven't actually produced the video that I wanna use just yet, so I'll grab a random video off of my YouTube channel. Um, eventually I'll replace this with the actual video that we want here. Um, so we'll just grab this for now. We'll click share, go to embed, and you just grab this whole code, command A, command C on a Mac, or you can click copy, whichever you prefer. And then in here, you'll just drop that embed code in and click save. So then I'll open it up a little bit like this and see how everything looks. Uh, this image to me looks a little bit large. So I'll come into the styling of it and I'll shrink it down a little bit and I'll, I'm gonna align it left. I like to align it left so it's always aligned with my text here. And now that looks pretty good. I think I want my button to be a little bit smaller. Um, I might change that, but overall, outside of this little slant, which we'll work on at the end, uh, this looks pretty good. Do I want this to be full width? I definitely want it to be rounded. And I'll do 10 pixels, so that, that changes how rounded it is. And then I'll see if I like full width. Um, I think I'm gonna stick with the full width button here. I like that the most. And then up here, I'm gonna match this button up by changing this to uh, rounded as well with 10. So at this point, I can actually preview what this is going to look like on the web. It looks very close to, to what we had over here. Uh, so I'll go ahead and click preview. And this is what it looks like on desktop. This is what it would look like on mobile. That looks good. And then this is what it would look like on a tablet. So you just wanna make sure it looks good across devices. Uh, so that's the first section. We, we pretty much did that relatively quickly here. Again, I mentioned we're gonna work on this little slant component as well as um, 
as well as just putting in the final video a little bit later on. But now we're ready to move on to the next section, which is this social proof.